All right, so welcome everyone um, to our session, Expanding Your Potential in the Youth Development Field, Education Pathways, Scholarship and Incentive Opportunities. My name is Alisa Morrow and I'm the Career Advisor and Registry Coach at Primetime, Palm Beach County. Good morning, I'm Nicole Tarsia. I am the Scholarship and Incentive Specialist at Palm Beach County. Good morning, I'm Louisa Brennan. I'm from Palm Beach State College. I'm the program director for the after school and certificate programs. So during our session, we are going to talk about some of the, the professional development model that's used in Palm Beach County and the services and supports that are available through Palm Beach State College and Primetime to those that work in an out of school time program in Palm Beach County. So everything we cover um, is for those that work in a Palm Beach County after school program. So I just wanted to make that clear so that if you are working in a program that's in a different county, you are of course welcome to stay. But if you do wanna you know, jump off and go into a different session because these services and supports are not something you'd be eligible for, um, that's fine as well. So I just wanted to let you know that up front. All right, so before we jump into the content, we have a little um, welcoming question, icebreaker um, kind of thing. So in the chat, the WOVA chat or the Zoom chat, whichever one you are in, can you tell us about one thing that you have accomplished in the past year that you're proud of, something you've achieved, maybe an area you've grown in, maybe just something you've done or improved upon that you're proud of? So just anything in that kind of, you know, anything along those lines, something you've accomplished that you're proud of an area you've grown in, anything like that. And it can be big or small. So for me, I have um, really gotten into those like home organizing shows. I don't know if anyone's seen them on the streaming services, um, but they have really inspired me. So I have definitely organized certain parts of my home in different ways that I've seen. And so that was something that, again, it's little, but it was a nice thing to improve upon to make your life a little better. So, like I said, anything big or small that you've done in that same realm. So I see that Sherry moved up to a leadership role in her part-time weekend, weekend job because she has a bachelor's in supervision and management. So yes, that is awesome. Congratulations. What else has anyone done in the past year that they are proud of or that they've achieved that they are proud of. And even our, um, our co-presenters, Nicole or Louisa, if there's anything you want to share that you've done in the past year that you're proud of? I reorganized my office. It needed to get painted and made it into a real home office. So that was a big accomplishment. It feels <laughs> more comfortable now. Yes. So it's similar along the lines of mine. So that's great. So definitely keep them coming in the chats um, so that we can see them. Oh, here's a couple more. So Sarah was able to become an assistant director at a bigger program. That's amazing. Darmanique has her Florida national credential for her after school program to pr provide more resources to her staff and youth. So definitely keep them coming so we can read all about what you've accomplished. And the reason we wanted to start with that is because, you know, as you guys have shown, Naturally, we want to grow and improve and, you know, we don't just always want to stay the same and stay with the status quo. So these are going to be opportunities that are available for you to continue to grow and improve in the field and for you to just grow and improve personally and professionally. So our agenda here, we are going to talk about the primetime registry and trainings. We will talk about the non-credit and credit pathways available through Palm Beach State College and the scholarship program and achieve program available through prime time and then career advising and additional supports and resources. So the prime time registry is our online database that houses all of your professional development information. So all of your employment history in the field, trainings that you've attended, CEUs, education history, if you're a member of any organizations, all of that is housed in your registry record online in our database. And instead of having a bunch of files with all that information, 
you know, something that kind of looks like this picture on the side with everything everywhere in different places. The Primetime Registry allows it to become one nice document like you see there on the computer that showcases everything you've done in one place, in one document, so that you can really have everything at your fingertips. You don't have to store things in a million places. You don't have to worry about things being lost and you're able to really keep track of what you've done because it's all there listed on your registry transcript and in your registry record. Your transcript can also be used and your, your registry record can also be used for self-reflection. So I know in my case, if you ask me what I did two weeks ago, I probably can't even tell you. You know, everything happened so fast and life is just going and going. So you can really use that registry transcript to reflect and look back at what you've done for the year or the time that you've been in after school, see what you've accomplished, see what you've learned. And then you can self-assess and set new goals for the future. So you can see if there's places maybe that you haven't been trained in yet that you want to, you know, things like that so that you can set goals for, you know, future improvement in education. And then lastly, it's a great thing to add to your portfolio because part of the point is that it really showcases everything you've done. You can see in one glance all of your experience, all of your trainings, you know, everything that you bring to the field. And so putting it as part of your portfolio is important because then if you're looking for job promotions or new positions or anything like that, you um, can really showcase that. And also the information shows that it's been verified. So someone looking at it can see, you know, that it's been verified. All right, so how many of you are already in the registry? So just give me a raise of your hand or you can do the thumbs up. All right, good, I see some hands being raised, perfect. <laughs> So if you're not, um, you can go to the Primetime website and there's a registry page that'll give you all the information on how to join. For those of you that already are members, um, there's a section on that same page that looks like this. And this is what you can use to continue to keep it updated. So once you're a member, we do ask that you keep it updated and um, you know just check it every few months pull your transcripts, see if there's anything missing, and then upload any documents that might be missing. So certificates, um, if you finish, you know, a couple semesters at college or certificates or degrees, you know, that you upload all of those to be added. And you can get your registry record at any time. So once you add documents that can be sent to you, or if you've gone to, um, you know, a bunch of trainings, all the primetime events and trainings you go to automatically add to your record. So once you've gone to some, if you want a new transcript to be able to showcase that and have the most up-to-date version, you could just get your transcript anytime with that first bullet. Um, so I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but if there's any questions that come up about any of the information that I'm discussing or that any of us are discussing, you can just put it in the chat and we will we'll answer that for you. So I just wanted to pause for a minute to make sure you all knew that. So once you're in the registry, then you're able to attend primetime trainings. So primetime offers trainings for free to anyone working in the out-of-school time field. And we have trainings in the morning, trainings in the evenings. Um, there's trainings that are just one time and trainings that are series-based. So you attend a couple trainings with the same group of people to really dive into that content. Um, there are trainings that are right now, they're online Zoom like this, or they're self-paced. And we have over 50 different trainings. So there's trainings on all sorts of different topic areas, general youth development, of course, so things like youth voice and building community, behavior management, championing equity and diversity, leadership. I mean, the list goes on and on. I, I couldn't go through them all here. But you can check them all out on the website. And then we also have some specific trainings. So we have middle school focused trainings if you're working with that group. We have a STEAM, STEAM focused trainings, some that are just standalones, but also a series where you get paired with a specialist and you can have observations and modeling and really work with them to incorporate that in your program. Um, and we also have SEL trainings. So the title might not say SEL, but it's embedded in a ton of our trainings. So there is SEL content throughout all of our trainings. If you wanna really narrow down to one of those topics, you can see there's this um, kind of like little header 
above the calendar. And if you click on it, it will filter out and just show you the trainings for that particular topic. So that way you can find what you want or just look for everything, whatever you prefer. We also are offering site-based trainings again. So if you, um, you know, were around a couple years ago and we were doing those, those are back. So you can um, request a site-based training as long as you have 15 practitioners that will be attending or you can join with another program. And if you too have 15 um, practitioners that would attend, you can have a site-based training um, at your site for your staff on the topic of your request. And then, of course, um, with the generous funding from the Children's Services Council of Palm Beach County, this current school year, we've been able to offer stipends for the trainings. So it's been $15 an hour. So for example, if you went to a three hour training, you would get a $45 stipend. So please just check our website for updates on the availability of those stipends in the future. So another great perk um, to our trainings, besides the amazing content you'll get. Our trainers are wonderful. They make everything interactive and fun. You get to network with other practitioners in the field and share ideas and, you know, skills and all of that. You can also get CEUs for free. So if you're not familiar with a C what a CEU is, it's a continuing education unit. And some credentials and licenses do require CEUs to keep them up to date. So for example, if you have a staff credential or a director credential, you have to renew those every five years. And you can do that with CEUs. So Primetime can give you CEUs for free for attending our trainings that you can use for those. Um, so that's just another added perk and it will show up on your registry transcript. So that's what you can use to show that you have completed those, um, those CEUs. All right. So now that I've shared some information with you, we want to give you all a chance to talk and chat with each other. So in a minute, we're going to put you in a breakout room with about four people. And if you don't know each other, you know, introduce yourself to each other, of course. And then we just want you to talk about what would you say are the benefits of gaining youth development education, gaining certificates and degrees in youth development. So what do you think are the benefits of that? How would that benefit you to get additional certificates and degrees and education in youth development? So Haisa, let me know whenever the breakout rooms are ready. And you'll see basically what will happen when we're ready is um, something will pop up on your screen. It'll say join, click to join, and then you'll be sent to the breakout room. We'll give you a couple minutes to chat with those that are in your room and then we'll bring you back. I'm ready, I'm open, I'm up now. All right, perfect. All right, so what are some of the things you can put in the chat or you can definitely feel free to unmute and you can just share with us what you, if like one group would like to at least maybe unmute and share with us what they talked about. Not gonna lie, I did all the talking, I think, because I didn't realize how short the time was. But I did give all the praises to prime time and how, you know, about a million times I wanted to stop because I, you know, it's a lot, but I just kept don't hit that pause, keep going. And that because of prime time, you know, like I said I got the F school educator, the two I got two associates degrees, the bachelor's, my advanced director's credentials, and the college certificate in human services. So definitely, definitely, definitely worth doing all of that. So all I appreciate right. you all very much. I just wish that I could apply for Achieve, but I make too much as a director, so you won't let me. But <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad you took advantage of all of that. And um, there have been a couple changes to Achieve. I don't know if it's going to help in your case, but Nicole will talk about that later. So it might help at least some additional people be able to apply. I actually forgot to tell them how I knew you from that after school educator. I stacked yes. two seats in front of you for 12 weeks. I remember <laughs> <Yes>. that. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that was a long time ago when we first met. <laughs> so as, um, as you all mentioned even before, some of the benefits you can get are advancement in the field. Some of you guys talked about that in the beginning with your chats of what you'd accomplished. Um, you know, knowledge of best practices so that you can have a high quality after school program and you can provide those safe, supportive, 
and engaging environments for your youth, um, having increased marketability and um, knowledge of best practices, I think I said that one, and then increased skills and confidence in your skills and what you're able to bring to your program and to the youth. So there's a lot of amazing benefits that can come about with getting further education. So let's dive in and find out more about some of those opportunities. So this is our, um, so about 16 years ago, Primetime partnered with Palm Beach State College to create educational pathways for certificates and credentials and degrees and youth development. So there's two pathways. One is the non-credit. So that's uh, part of what's showing here. And that one starts off with the 40 hour school age certification. So that goes into things like health, safety, and nutrition, rules and regulations, um, uh, identifying reporting child abuse neglect, things like that. And when you're done, you have that 40 hour school age certification. That certification is required sometimes to work at after school programs. So it's a great certification to get not only for the education, but so you have that already under your belt and you can apply to more programs. And, you know, that employer doesn't now have to wait for you to get it. You can already have it. And so you have that advantage on top, you know, above other candidates to be able to, you know, get those positions. Once you have that, you can move on and get the school age professional certificate. So that's, it's what after school educator was that Sherry was talking about. Now it's the school age professional certificate. And that is a class where all of the content is specifically for those that work in after school. So everything is geared towards skills and strategies and techniques you can use the very next day with your youth at your program. And then everyone that takes the class has to work in after school. So again, you're with everyone in the field. You can share ideas and tips and tricks. And so it's just a great class to get tons of information. And then on top of that, if you're in the school district, it can bump you up to certified counselor. And it can also give you, or it will also give you, your staff credential through DCF. So that's recognized throughout Florida and shows that you have that education to get that credential. So I'm going to pass it over to Louisa now from Palm Beach State so she can give us a little bit more information about that SAPC class and our partnership together. Thank you, Elisa. Good morning, everyone. I recognize many of your names in, um, so I haven't spoken to you in the past. Some of you are currently uh, interested in taking the school age professional certification for fall. Some of you just completed it. Congratulations to you. Um, as Elisa mentioned, Primetime and I work very, and Palm Beach State work very closely together. We have the same goal in mind to have you be successful in the field of out of school time. So we've created this pathway to, and we work very closely to make sure that we um, support you throughout this, this process. If you're interested in taking the Schoolish Professional Certificate, as Elisa mentioned, the requirement is that you have completed the 40 hour training and that you're currently working in a school age program. So once you have at least that prerequisite, then we work with you to make sure that you have the correct program of study, that you're a Palm Beach State student, you have the correct program of study that's listed here on uh, 5373. We, we, we require that you have your high school or transcript, official transcript sent to us or your GED. Um, we look at your DCF training transcript before to make sure that you have all the prerequisites in place. And if not, we work with you to make sure that we provide you with that information, the schedules, we have scholarships in the department that help cover the 40 hour training. So if any of you are in a director position and you're hi hiring staff now for the summer, please send them our way. We will guide them to complete the 40 hour training and hopefully get them ready to take the school age professional certification by fall term. For the 40 hour, we have this two ways they can take it. If they've already taken the, if they've worked in an early childhood program and taken the traditional, what we say traditional 40 hours, then for them to take the school age professional certification, they would be required to take the foundations of advancing the development, which is the 12 hour course. If they have not, and they're just starting out in the field, then we recommend that they take the school age certificate for the 40 hour school age certification, which is comprised of the 28 hour part one and a 12 hour foundations of advancing youth development to make up the 40 hours. And as I stated, you, they do have to be employed in a licensed childcare facility 
caring for school aged children because part of the curriculum requires an observation from the instructor to go out and see the students applying the curriculum that they're being taught in the first module. School age professional certification is two modules. For, the first one is 40 hours. Once you successfully complete the 40 hour module one, then we move you right into the second module two. It's a controlled access program. So if you're interested in the program, you can't just go in like any other course at Palm Beach State and just register for the class. We actually ha have an information session that you're required to attend where we go over everything to make sure that you understand what's expected of you and all of the requirements are in place. And then we open it up and for you to register. The next slide, Lisa. Once you complete the school age professional certificate at Palm Beach State, and if you're a registered student who's completed 15 additional credits, then you can have your SAPC certification articulated for three credits. The college recognizes the rigor of the SAPC course. So for that, we wanna give you credit for having attended the class. So you would receive an articulation for HUS 1620. Therefore, you would not take that class. If you're taking the um, credit pathway, we recommend to not take that course because we will give you credit for that after you completed the SAPC class and 15 college credits at Palm Beach State. Are there any questions? I'm always here to help. And just as a reminder, you know, as I mentioned, Primetime and Palm Beach State, we work really closely together and with our goal is to make sure that you're successful in, in the field. So we want to just let you know that if you ever have any questions and you're, you know, they're Primetime related, we're going to connect you with Elisa or Nicole or anyone there. Um, we try to collaborate in events like today so that we can show you our partnership and that we're here to uh, assist you throughout this whole journey that you're in. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. So we will um, continue with the non-credit pathway. I did see a question that if you have some additional um, <clears throat> education already, if you can get credit for anything, there are some ways with the staff credential and parts of the 40 hours that you can get credit if you have certain degrees. Um, so you can always reach out to me and I can give you some more information. And then there was another question about some funding, which we'll definitely talk about in a minute. Just to answer that one also, Lisa, if um, you can also, they can always contact the child care training through the Department of Children and Families to see what they would get credit for if they have a degree, what they would be exempt in. So yeah. if they contact them, then they will provide them with that information. Yes, absolutely. So as I mentioned, some of these are through the Department of Children and Families, so they can definitely assist and give information as well. Thanks. So beyond the, so I'm showing you the full non-credit pathway now, instead of just that snapshot on this slide, because there's a more to it that didn't fit on the slide. So um, beyond the staff credential, if you wanted, you could continue on and take two more courses to get your director credential. Again, that's granted through DCF to show you have the education on running a program. And just like the 40 hours, some places do require it to be a director. So if that's something you thought of doing in the future, just like the 40 hours again, it's good to get it ahead of time so you can show you already have it and have that advantage on, top, you know, on other uh, candidates to obtain those positions. And then if you want to get level two or advanced, we provide the coursework for those as well as whatever you might need to renew. And then on the bottom there are some standalone courses. So child care first aid and CPR. If you have your 40 hour child care, like Luisa had mentioned, and you need to get, or you just want to get the 40 hour school age components, we scholarship those so that you could get those school age components. And then some additional youth development courses as well. So that's the non-credit. Then we have the credit pathway where you can get a credit certificate or an associate degree or two bachelor's degrees now, so we have options. Um, the Youth Development College Credit Certificate is showing here, it's six classes, and it gives you that specialized amount of education in youth development. Specifically, um, for those who have taken classes before, you might have a class or two from this already. So those would count as long as Palm Beach State um, accepts them and you would just take what's left. So really this is something you could get in just a couple semesters 
and have that credit certificate to add to your um, you know, resume and just all of your background of education. You can just get the credit certificate or if you want to keep going, you can continue with the classes at the bottom that finish up an associate in human services with a youth development concentration. So some gen ed, some core classes, and then two fieldwork classes in which your job and after school would count for those. And then same thing, you can stop there or if you want to keep going, we have two bachelor's degrees that you can obtain and choose from that you can continue with. So one is in supervision and management. So leadership courses, management courses, all of that. And then the other is in human services. So those would dive further into the human services coursework that was part of that associate degree. If you already have an associate degree, you can jump into these master's programs. There might be some prerequisites you have to do, um, but you are able to um, you know, go into those programs. So I just wanted to let you know as well. So the idea of this is that you know, there's something for everyone, depending on what you're looking for. The certificates can take just you know, a few weeks all the way through master's programs, which will clearly take you longer than that. And you can do one pathway or the other. You can do everything like Sherry <laughs> uh, shared that she did. So you can do both pathways, whatever works for you, whatever you're interested in and works for you know, your time and your schedule and things like that. So now that I have gone through the pathways and what's available at Palm Beach State, um, as we know, of course, college is costs money. <laughs> so you have to pay for your class, you have to pay for your books and all of that. So now I'm gonna pass it over to Nicole so that she can share some information on the scholarship program we have to help you pay for that. Good morning, everyone. Yes, so we're very fortunate at Prime Time to have a scholarship program to cover the uh, classes and books for the pathways that Elisa mentioned. To be eligible, you need to be working at least 10 hours per week with school age youth in a Palm Beach County after school program. And uh, the, the scholarship covers the cost of the classes and books. We cover up to six uh, scholarships for non-credit coursework and six scholarships for credit coursework each year. And just so you know, you don't have to uh, pay up front for the classes. You would just submit the application to us with your, along with your class schedule. We would go ahead and process it. And if you're eligible, you'll receive a letter that you would forward to the college and that would cover the cost of the classes and the books. Primetime also is fortunate enough to be able to scholarship you for one youth development related conference or event each fiscal year. And now let's hear more from uh, people who have taken part of the scholarship program. So while I'm loading up the video here, um, there was something in the chat about if a CIT can qualify, they can, as long as they're working 10 hours a week. Primetime Palm Beach County offers amazing opportunities to out-of-school time practitioners who want to gain an education in the youth development field. We know all about the obstacles that can get in your way and we are here to help. Primetime provides scholarships and career advising to assist with your journey to success. I was at a Title I school. It was very, very difficult and I struggled a lot with it. And these and some of the classes that I took with Palm Beach State really helped me learn how to manage myself better, which in turn helped me learn how to manage my own classroom better. Are you interested in earning a degree or certificate in youth development at Palm Beach State College and attending conferences that are specific to the after school field? Primetime offers Palm Beach County's after school practitioners scholarships that will cover the cost of your class and books or the registration fee to attend a conference. Primetime helped me do that. They allowed me to go to school without me worrying that, you know, I have to pay for school, that I have to get into a loan or whatnot. So the Primetime Scholarship was really a blessing and still continues to be. Don't know where to start? Primetime's Career Advisor is available to you whenever you need answers to your questions. She will assist you with any of the steps needed to get started and will support you each semester as you work towards completing your educational goals. 
the career advisor has really been my my guidance. I didn't know much about the field when I walked into this, and she really was able to explain everything to me and show me all of the opportunity for growth and teach me where I can really go with everything. And she's always there whenever I need her. I can call at any time. I feel very comforted, and I don't feel like I'm ever inconveniencing anyone. I always feel like I get the time that I deserve. Crime Time is honored to be a part of your educational journey and assist you while you achieve your dreams. That's just a little bit about the scholarship program. I see something in a chat about can a teacher with Boys and Girls Club qualify? If, as long as they're working with an after school, you, you would qualify. Um, you just need to make that 10 hours a week and work with school age youth and, and be in Palm Beach County. And yep, now we're gonna talk about our next wonderful program that I love, which is Achieve Out of School Time. Achieve Out of School Time is an incentive award program that rewards you for the training and education you already have. So who doesn't want money? Um, we're gonna play a little um, Near, Nearpod uh, game where we're gonna go into Nearpod. Um, you'll see something in the chat with the Nearpod link. And just click that link. And once you click it, you'll, you'll want to put in your name. And then there will be a screen that pops up. And then... Time it, Palm Beach County offers amazing opportunities. Sorry about that. <laughs> There'll be a screen that pops up. And then you can um, type in, like, something that you would like, potentially like to purchase if you had a little extra money. <laughs> and then you can choose a GIF or a picture, and if you could just click that link and maybe put some of your thoughts in it, it's okay. does look like some people are in, so let me know if it's letting you put in the pictures or the GIFs. Because for some reason, when I just tried, it wasn't, it kept saying it was unauthorized, which hasn't happened before. But maybe it's letting you all, so let us know. I see, I see some. I see travel, pay off okay, bills, week-long trip to Disney World, support a family and eat all. That, that's wonderful. <laughs> travel, save to do something with my daughter, towards my college, graduation, road trip, travel abroad. Awesome. Keep putting them in there, and I just want to let you know that's what this money is for. Achieve is a program where you. this money is for you. It's not for a specific, you don't have to pay you don't have to use it like with like the scholarship program specifically for scholarships. It's for you to do with what you want to. And it's it's to reward you for all your hard work because you do put a lot, hard, a lot, a lot of hard work into what you do as after school professionals. Yeah, so, so I do see them in here too now. So, <laughs> so these are great. So now we're gonna look a little bit more at the um, Achieve program and what you need to be, what, how you qualify for Achieve. So in order to be eligible, you need to work, you need, first you need to be a registry member and you need to work in a licensed or licensed exempt Palm Beach County QIS program. You need to work with K through 12 youth and you need to be employed three or more months at the same program and earn $20 or less per hour and meet the training and education requirements. And the two big changes are that um, in the past, it, you would have had to work at least six months in the program and now it's three. And in the past, you, you would, it was like $17.50 or less and now you can earn up to $20 or less per hour. So it, it opens up the opportunity to a lot more people. So this is the actual pathway. Um, it's a uh, and it's a lot of information on the sheet. There's a lot of detail in here. And I don't want to get, get into anything too much, but to say the award amounts range from $50 to $3,000 a year, which is really great. And I, I don't want you to think that, you know, I think that one of the common misconceptions is I have to have a degree or take classes to apply. And you don't. Everybody who works in after school has some training hours. 45 training hours is the minimum amount to be eligible for Achieve. And, you know, I know you take your CPR. A lot of you have your 40-hour certification. You're taking DCF courses. You're taking compliance-based um, tr trainings. 
you know, especially with that, there's a lot of misconception because people don't realize that all those compliance-based trainings count. So all those things count. Make sure to submit them in the registry and, and submit your application. Um, it's our due date is coming up uh, May 15th for the next for to process the next round of achieve. So, and I'll probably ex extend that because I want to make sure you all get in. Um, it's just a great opportunity, this program. And then just one other reminder that each year you have to do some continuing training and, and education to keep receiving Achieve. You have to do either 18 training hours or a three credit, credit class, and the training and education must be youth development related. And we have provided you with some resources on how to obtain that training and education. We provided you with a booklet. And... It has all the different primetime trainings, the DCF, and any outside agencies. A lot of them you can just do self-paced and get your training hours. And then, of course, just a reminder, or again, that all your uh, trainings and compliance-based trainings from your after-school program count. So let's hear some more from somebody who's participated and achieved. Primetime Palm Beach County offers financial incentives to encourage and motivate out-of-school time practitioners to achieve their professional development goals. Primetime offers up to $3,000 if you complete a bachelor's degree and you've obtained a Youth Development College credit certificate. Achieve Out-of-School Time is a tiered incentive award program that rewards Palm Beach County after-school practitioners for participating in trainings and earning certificates and degrees that emphasize best practices in youth development. At first, I didn't believe it because sometimes, you know, it's like hard to hard to believe that they'll just send you a check in the mail for going to school, basically. So I signed up for it and sure enough, like I got it and I was just in complete shock. Achieve is designed to increase after school program stability and improve program quality by reducing staff turnover and encouraging after school practitioners to continue their training and education. The more you study it, the more degrees you get, you'll get more money. Um, it just be like, okay, now I want to study. Now I want to learn more. I want to get more degrees. I want to keep moving up. I want to stay in the field. Children and youth benefit from continuous care from practitioners who are specialists in the out-of-school time field, understand best practices in youth development, and are sensitive to their needs. When I do get that check in the mail, it obviously brings a smile to my face, and I'm very happy. Uh, but as of right now, I am thinking about a master, my, the master's program. So I have been saving a portion of that check just to continue my education, um, just to ultimately learn all that I can learn to benefit the kids. So, Primetime is proud to be a part of your professional journey and assist you as you continue to grow in the out-of-school time field. So that, in a nutshell, is ACHIEVE, the ACHIEVE Out of School Time Incentive Award Program. I hope you submit an application. It's um, We've actually made some revisions to it, and we made it a lot um, just simpler now. It's just you can do it real quick. It should only take a couple of minutes. You can always give me a call to help you through the application process for both scholarships and ACHIEVE. So thank you, Nicole, for all of that information. Um, so as you can see, you can not only get your certificates and credentials and degrees through Palm Beach State and the pathways, but you can get it paid for and essentially get them for free with the scholarship program. And then on top of that, get um, a reward for having obtained it through the ACHIEVE program. So I did see a question, someone was asking about May 15th. That was the, uh, the due date for the ACHIEVE applications for this round. Every three months we process them. But as Nicole mentioned, she is going to be extending that. So you'll have a, a little bit more time after May 15th to still get those achieve applications in. So we are here to help you. Obviously, this was a lot of information. We don't expect you to navigate this alone and have to figure it out by yourself. So we are all here to help you do this. We can go through the pathways with you again, help you decide on what you want to take, answer questions to see if it's something you want to do or not. Um, you know, help with all the steps that Palm Beach State, like Louisa mentioned, so registering or getting your residency in or, um, you know, any of those things, submitting your scholarship or achieve applications, we are here to help. So please don't feel like you need to navigate this alone. You can absolutely reach out to us at any time and we can help you with all of these steps. I also have a link up there 
Um, so the PowerPoint and all of the links are going to be in the resources section. So there's a link here and in another side we're going to show you in a second that um, takes you to a virtual like where you can set up an appointment for a virtual meeting. So if you already know you're interested and you do want to have a virtual meeting with me to you know, ask questions or get more information or get started, you can click on that and set that up at any time. So like I said, we are available to help at any point. So now we are going to um, play a little game where we just want to reinforce some of the information and see if you took in the, the key points. So definitely, even though it's going to be questions, don't think of it as a quiz or a test or anything like that. It's not. Don't worry if you're getting things right or wrong. It's more to reinforce some of the key points so that you take those away. We know it was a lot of information. So definitely, you know, just have fun with it. So if you go, if you didn't close your Nearpod link, you can go back to it. If you did close it, you can just, um, Heisa, if you don't mind um, putting it in the chat again so that you can join again. And then you should see something that says time to climb once I get that loaded. Okay, so now it's loaded. You should see something that says time to climb that you would join into. It kind of might look like this. This is my side of it, so it'll look a little different, but it'll look something like that, where you can put your name, you pick your character, and that will pop you into the game. So I do see some people coming in great. So I'm glad it's all working. So I'll give you a couple more seconds to just, you know, get your name in, put your character in. If anyone's having trouble, let us know. I'm going to check the chat in the meantime just to see. <laughs> I do see uh, Sarah had a little shout out to her boss <laughs> in the video. <laughs> and then um, I see Nicole has answered some of the questions for CUs for your director credential. It's 4.5 CUs that you need for staff and director credential each. So just so you know. All right, so I will give every, is anyone still waiting to get connected? I don't want to start while someone's like actively trying to get in. So just making sure that yes, we're not. Uh, Linda and Carol um, having issues getting in. I did put the, the link and Google also just try that route and maybe that'll work. Thank you, yes. All right, I see more of you coming in. So you're gonna have about, just to warn you, like 15 seconds to answer each question. One of them's a little more, so that one's about 20 seconds. So again, no rush in terms of like feeling like you have to answer super fast or answer perfectly. It's just for fun, it's just a game. So, um, all right, so we will go ahead and get started. All right. So how was that? Were you guys able to remember some of the information? Did you have fun with it? <laughs> okay, good. So like I said, um, if there were things you didn't remember, it's fine because it told you what the answer was and it was just to reinforce some of the things we had mentioned. So we hope that they stick in your mind. Um, and so we have one last thing. If you didn't close the Nearpod, it will refresh to a poll. You might've already seen it do that. If you did close it, you can just click the link again and there's a poll in there that's just asking you if you're interested in any of the education that we reviewed just so this way we can follow up with you if you are and reach out to you and start giving you the information you might need or the you know answer the questions you have or anything like that so um, if you will go ahead and answer that poll so that way it has all the options you can mark as many as you want you can mark not interested um, just so that way we know if you are and then we can reach out to you to make it easier for us to, um, you know, start assisting you so you don't have to, you know, take the time to reach out to us. And then, of course, you know, for everyone, you're obviously you have coworkers. So if you know coworkers that might be interested or if you are in leadership positions and you have staff that might be interested, definitely let them know as well. And we're always happy to you know do a virtual presentation like this as well for your staff so let them know about it 
So um, like I mentioned at the end of the PowerPoint, there's all of these resources and links and you have these um, in WOVA, you have the documents. So here's all of the links and resources that you would need um, for everything we talked about. So it's easy access there. And then all of our contact information is at the end as well. So everything is in that PowerPoint. And we are just thank you for coming to our session. We hope you got a lot of good information and that you've enjoyed the symposium. Um, like we mentioned, don't ever hesitate to reach out to us. We love helping everyone to you know, get their education and reach their goals and dreams. So that's what we are here for and we love to do it. So definitely don't hesitate to ever reach out to us. And we hope that you enjoy the um, keynote and advancing after school awards um, and your lunch. So thank you all. It was so great to see you and have a good rest of the day. Thank you for being here. Thank great you, everyone. You.